Right, guys, so we finally did it. We reached the 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And I'm really grateful with all of you who have um, supported the channel uh, during this, this month. I, I decided to start the channel uh, last year and it's been growing like really good. And well, uh, so for this video, I decided to record something, including my voice and answer some of the most uh, asked questions and yeah just to really thank you guys i i made this little animation in blender of course and you can check it uh, on my instagram the links are in the description and yeah thank you very much um so let's see what what we can do and just one other thing um i was wondering how many of you would be interested in uh you know like supporting me uh either a patreon or something like that you know like i'll be um making like sort of longer videos with narration or tutorials or uh even um when putting up assets that I model or something like that that you can use in your workflow uh, or maybe a Gumroad or something like that um, yeah leave it in the comments and we'll see how it goes uh, again thanks for everything and let's go to the questions all right so we are here in Blender and one of the most asked questions is what is your theme um, my theme is called Odyssey. It's slightly modified, like uh, rounded boxes and some stuff. Um, but you can get the theme from uh, Google, well, actually from the Blender Dev Talk page. page. Um, so you just go to Google and type Blender themes. And you go on the first link. And when you're in this page, you see on the right side, there's the date and the number of posts that are in this thread. So, um, well, well, you can uh, browse all these themes. There are a lot of themes. Some are pretty cool. Some are like kind of um, not, my, not my cup of tea. <laughs> um, but the one I used, as I said, is called Odyssey. Uh, you can look for it here but I, I'll give you the the post number of this. Um, you just go here and scroll down to the 52 and you can see the team is this one right here. It's by Olof Axel and uh, yeah, this, this is the theme that I use uh, mostly. I, I sometimes use the light theme uh, or the modo theme, but uh, for most time I, I, I use this one. So to install it, you just download it here. Wait a few seconds. These themes are really light, so they don't load super fast. Um, to get this .xml file, and this is what you will install in Blender. So I have a fresh version of Blender. It's Blender 2.93. It's the alpha version. I just downloaded it today and I'll show you how to install it on this one. So when you open Blender, you get the, uh, the splash art, you get um, the default scene and the default dark theme. So to install the theme, you just go to File, uh, sorry, to Edit, References, and you go here on Themes. And then you just go to Install, go to your Download folder or wherever you downloaded the theme. You just click on the theme, Install Theme, and there you go. There's the theme. And yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. 
So the other thing is, uh, as, as I mentioned, um, I I prefer these rounded boxes on on the menus and and stuff in circular um, check boxes or check circles, I guess. And you don't get those with the default theme. You get uh, squared edges and the check boxes are actually, well, they are a bit rounded, but they are boxes still, well, squares. And you can change all that in preferences. Uh, I believe it's themes, user interface, and somewhere here you can um, change those, those rounding things. I can't remember exactly where, but you can check all of those in here. I guess it's box. Yeah, here in box, you just turn this up to one and on every value, you get the roundness. So just turn it to one. And there you can see, you can you can start to get um, a pill shaped um, slider or box, I guess. And then you just save save the preferences, and you're ready to go. Save preferences. If you got how to save checked, uh, you already are ready to go. So yeah, that's it. Oh wait, the other thing is for the um for file explorer on Blender, uh, I have a a blue folder color so you just change that to whatever color you like uh, because by default i i believe it's the yellow um yeah the yellow folder which i totally don't like but you can change that in in preferences also um I believe it's in themes or something like that. But you can you can change whatever you want uh from here. File browser here it is. So you just click in there. Uh theme space. Well maybe maybe not in here. Or it, or can you? But whatever. You you can go to themes and um uh, change every everything you want yeah from here. To, to your liking of course and that's it so this is probably the most asked question it's like how do you make your meshes colorful and it's super super easy so here i am on the death is my hair uh, scene i made um well a few a few weeks now actually um and i'm using this scene because it has a tons of objects and if you haven't checked that video um, you can you can see it in my channel I'll, I'll put a, a link somewhere here or a card or something or just go to, to my channel so um, here this is what you want to know how to do how to make each mesh to have a different color uh, so this is not an add-on, this is not a plugin, this is not some, some scripting or anything. It comes by default in Blender and it's super easy to do. Uh, you just go to this menu on the top, click on this arrow, and you can see you have the, the lightning, uh, well, the lighting options, I guess. You can go to Studio, you can go to a Madcap or, or Flat. I, I prefer the Flat one. And below, you see this color menu options, you just hit random, that's it. Uh, you usually get it on, on material or, or something and this is this is what you get usually. Um, yeah, if, if your object has some textures on, on its display, you get these weird uh, colors, I guess. Uh, but since I made a lot of these objects from, from scratch, well, from, from a cube or something, uh, they have no no color or anything and this looks kind of boring usually and um, i don't like it uh if you're using a, a studio light it's usually worse at least for me because you get like this super super dark um planes i guess 
uh, and it becomes kind of kind of difficult to, to to navigate your scene. So I I prefer the flat, and yeah, you just hit random, and Blender automatically assigns a different color every time you you create a, a new mesh. Um, if you rename your your mesh, uh, it will usually change the color also, and What's great about this is it also works with matcaps. Well, some matcaps. Um, for example, this one. You see, it has the influence of the matcap shading, but it uh, it also has a color assigned to each mesh. So it's super, super useful, especially with uh, some metallic matcaps. Well, probably not this one, <laughs> uh, but let's see this one. Yeah. This one looks super cool, and um, yeah, that's that's how you do it. Uh, finally, I, I want to show you some other things you can do, which sometimes looks really cool also. If you're using the, the flat uh, shading type, you just go to, I guess, material or single, yeah, single, to get everything uh, gray, grayed out or white. You choose pure white and disable this uh, shadow, or at least reduce it a bit. You, you still want some, some shadow there. And you get to activate uh, the wireframe. And sometimes it looks really, really cool, like, like a SketchUp drawing, if you've ever used a SketchUp. And yeah. Just, just wanted to show you this also. It, it tends to look really cool, but if you have terrible topology, as I do, uh, well, it looks kind of weird. But try to experiment a bit with it. You sometimes get funny, well, happy accidents, as Bob Ross used to say, and it's pretty cool. But yeah, that's that's how you go to the uh, to the random texture, and that's it.